So, so we got the scent of the days out the way. We got the fragrance news. Now, this next segment that we're going to be talking about, this is going to be our fragrance blitz. And I'm just going to go over a couple of quick hitter news that's going to be dropping or that's upcoming fragrances, releases, things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and share the screen and we're going to get straight into it because this first one, yeah, but this first one, it blew me away when I first heard about it. So I just want to bring it to y'all attention. Let's go ahead and dive straight into it. Turn that off right there. All right, man, y'all see the screen, man. Hellsman announces a, fra a mayonnaise fragrance called Will Lewis Number no. 8. You heard that correctly, fam. Now the bottle, I'm rocking with the bottle. Like this is a nice, this is a nice little simple, simple setup here. I'm rocking with the bottle. But as we scroll down right here, fam, Will Levis number eight shocked the fragrance world when mayonnaise company Hellman's announced a collaboration on the mayonnaise scented perfume. The Tennessee Titans quarterback. Seemingly loves the condiment, even stating that he adds it to his coffee. <sighs> Glad I don't drink coffee. That would have that probably ruined it for me. The fragrance name is inspired by the number eight, which Will wears on his jersey as a current store starting quarterback for the team of Nashville, a.k.a. the Tennessee Titans. The fragrance has been coined the term, and this is where I lost it. The fragrance has been co coined the term perfume de mayonnaise, as it is made to smell just like the condiment does. And the notes you can be expecting if y'all do decide to pick this up, you're gonna get some nice lemon, you're gonna get a, a mayonnaise accord at the same time, some parsley, some coffee, Vanilla and some musk. I don't know, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Are y'all gonna be picking up Will Lewis, Will Levis, the mayonnaise? The fragrance begins with lemon note that captures the tanginess of mayonnaise. A mayonnaise accord that has creamy depth to the scent with a background of coffee inspired by Will's ex post. Soft musk embodies the sweet, the sweat from athletes while a creamy vanilla adds a bit of sweetness and bridges the tart lemon and mayonnaise accord. Yeah, bro, they, they selling them in 38, uh, 30 mLs. They already sold out, man, look. It is currently sold out. Man, which one of y'all like here buying mayonnaise, man? Which one of y'all like here buying mayonnaise fragrance? Let me find out. Let me find out one of y'all out here buying a mayonnaise fragrance. The lemons, hey, the lemon, you know, I'm a big fan of the citruses, but lemon mixed with some mayonnaise, I better not catch it out. Y'all do y'all, you do what you want. Don't let me tell you what to do. Do what you want. But I just had to point that one out. Now we are going to switch it over. We have another bit of news that we're going to tap into real quick. And this one here is going to be for my ladies. We got a new Marc Jacobs fragrance that's releasing. And this one promotes self-love with the perfect elixir. Yeah, I ain't going to lie. That bottle looking crazy right now. You know that thing is going to be like one bit. Mark Jacob has greenlit the latest addition to his prize perfect saga named Perfect Elixir Eau de Parfum, a fragrance that promotes self-love and acceptance. Perfect Elixir marks the fourth member of the line which devotes, which deviates from the floral, fresh, olfactory family and takes a warm, ambery turn with the intensity of amber woods and the enveloping vibes of vanilla bean. Now this is something that I think we can rock with, especially the lady. Like, I think the lady's gonna like this one. The bottle looks extremely nice. Let's see what the let's see what the notes are looking like. In the top, we got some purple rhubarb accord, a plum accord, and a liquid honey nectar accord. That's it. That already sounds nice in the open, and I'm kind of rocking with that. In the mid, we have some golden amber woods mixing with some 
golden amber woods, of course, and Egyptian orange blossom, absolute. Adding a little bit of the citrus tang to it, okay? And then in the base, vanilla bean extract, myrrh resin, and patchouli heart. Yeah, 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 that don't sound too bad, man. I'm like, this one, this one, let's go, let's go down real quick. Let's check the price, because if I remember correctly, I think the price is absolutely insane. Yeah, the new fragrance hasn't been added to Mark Jacobs' official website. However, it will be available soon in 50 mLs and 100 ml eau de parfums, which retail for $129 and $165, respectfully. Yeah, man, I don't, I don't know who breaking the bank for that one. Like, I'm pretty sure it's a good, it smells amazing. It does smell like something that I think the ladies will rock with. But as far as at 165, though, man, that's like Dior Sauvage Elixir when it first came out. And what is it with everybody that's doing this now, like dropping into these elixirs? Like we got a lot. It's it's a lot going on. I need some. I need a little bit more creativity. I don't care for Mark Jacobs, but that no breakdown is crazy. I'm telling you, fam, that no breakdown is absolutely insane. Plum, honey, vanilla, nice combo, especially when you throw in that orange blossom. Exactly. Bam, exactly, brother. No breakdown on that one was, was real nice. I was rocking with it. I was rocking with that heavy. I got one more and then we're gonna tap into the fragrances. The last one right here. If you got a dog, this is for my dog lovers out there. If you got a dog, Dolce & Gabbana is releasing a fifth day a fragrance mist for dogs. Now, I didn't even check to see what the price of this one is. I just thought that this was absolutely insane that Dolce and Gabbana is dropping a fragrance for dogs. And look at this bottle presentation. Absolutely insane to me. It looks nice, but it really do. I'm rocking with it. All dog, oh, let me slow that down a little bit real quick. All dog lovers are invited to pamper their furry friends with Dolce and Gabbana's debut fragrance mist for dogs. Fefe is inspired by founder Domicio Dolce Loyal's companion Fefe, a cute toy poodle. It's a great addition to the grooming routine of your four-legged best friend, a formula alcohol-free, gentle on dogs, and can be used directly on your pet or rub it in your hands and gently massage the dog's fur, starting from the middle of the body to the tail and make sure to be mindful of the nose area. Now this is a nice note breakdown. I'm just saying, like, check this out. In the top, we got Lang Lang. In the mid, we got Musk. And in the base, we got Sandalwood. I'm telling you right now, just off that note breakdown alone, I would take that and put it on myself before I put that Will, that mayonnaise fragrance. I'm just saying, I would much rather rock with that. This right here is giving us something that I think that people could have enjoyed. And I wouldn't be surprised if I actually did see somebody and smell this on somebody. Like, it just seems nice. Like, especially with that note breakdown, it seems extremely nice. No word on how much it's gonna cost yet, but it is live on Dolce & Gabbana's website for all of my people that are interested in that. So you do have that up there, but yeah, I already know. I'm right there with you, fam. That, that's gonna sell out. I can see that one selling out instantly. And there we go. That's going to be the fragrance blitz. Now we are about to tap into these precious liquid scents. This is a, what everybody actually came here for. So the first one that we're 